Well, hi, Thomas. Uh, Hello, Bella. Yeah, hi. Well, I just want to first thank you for being with us today. And for anybody watching in, Thomas Clark is from the Essex, Essex in the UK. Is that correct? Did I get that right? I, okay. And he's just here to talk a little bit about his experience with some of our courses today. So first, I know that your first course with us was the BA Essentials Masterclass. Um, tell us a little bit about where you were before you joined that. Like, what was your job title and work environment like? Right. So yeah. within my company, I had spent several years as a research assistant, which was mostly a data entry related role. Mm -hmm. There wasn't much analysis involved, but I'd eventually demonstrated, you know, the relevant diligence to move up to research analyst, which involves mm -hmm. turning the corporate governance data that we collect into reports that our customers can use. Mm -hmm. Now, in the several years that I've been a research assistant, I've become very familiar with all the different aspects of the data collection process, which was very useful for this sort of role. And moving into the analyst role then gave me access to understanding how, what the data really meant to mm. the analysts and yeah. how it was used by the customers, which is a considerable extra level of detail, Yeah, which was nice and stretching. And that being stretched in my job is partly what pushed me into going and getting some more education. Okay. Now, yeah. what, what were you considering as you were thinking about growing into a business analyst role? So my background is in psychology with a master's in occupational psychology. What I'd like to do one day is become a management consultant, but I've always had that mindset of analyzing what I'm doing, fixing problems, can this be made more efficient? Does there, is everybody communicating properly? Does everything all make sense? Um, are there any redundancies in this process, for instance? Mm -hmm. And business analysis seemed to me to be a culmination of all those times in my life when I had just gone and fixed something, looked at a process that I was going through and realized these three steps don't work. This one can be made more efficient. And if we if we change the way that we end this, then everything will make much more sense and we get a much better end result. Yeah, so you really, you said you're a research analyst, but it sounds like you've been doing some business analysis along that path. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, so in, how did you, oh, go ahead. No, it's, no, it's okay. Okay, so how did you find Bridging the Gap? I was looking around for business analysis courses because um, I, looking at BA jobs and things, mm -hmm. uh, that may have been the actual link that I arrived at. So um, BA jobs, I, I believe a part of Bridging the Gap has a BA jobs board. I may have, I may have arrived at it there. Oh, no. Fair enough. Okay. But I was looking it's at... On the, it's on the list of things to do. Yes. Please. Fair enough. <laughs> I may also have been looking at, for instance, you know, jobs at McKinsey, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, and going through the profiles of the people there, seeing where they've been, what sort of mm -hmm. things that they do, realizing that maybe rather than just sort of throwing myself into this field, perhaps I should do a little bit of research, get some formal education mm -hmm. so that I actually know what I'm doing rather than just trying to improvise. Right. I think I'd come across the BABOC, Business Analysis Body of Knowledge, before in researching anything I can do to improve myself, what sort of business knowledge would be useful. Oh, business analysis, that sounds like a useful thing. Right. And here we are. All right. All right. And what was your thought process around joining the, the BA Essentials Masterclass specifically? I wanted a stepping stone into it to see, I mean, it looked like a broad, useful thing, mm -hmm. a general process I can use to apply, which is always, always useful, a mm -hmm. step by step. You can do this, now do this, now do this, rather than just stepping into a problem and not knowing what direction you're supposed to be going in. Mm -hmm. And I decided that because more qualifications is always good, mm -hmm. I'd like to one day become CVAP certified. And I noticed that your course offered the credits for it, whereas other places didn't. Mm -hmm. So 
I decided I'd sign up for the Essentials Masterclass to see what it was like, get some basic education, and if not, at least I'd then have something that I could apply to to anything else anyway, because the great thing about the process that the Business Analysis Essentials Masterclass gives you is I can apply that to doing Christmas dinner. I can do that. To, I can apply that to buying a new house. It's yeah. one of those useful things, how to go about doing a project. And I really yeah. like that. It's interesting you say that because we have people sometimes who are like, I don't know what my project should be. It's like, well, it doesn't have to be like at work, right? Like yes. you can't apply it. We had somebody apply it to the retirement um, planning. It was really interesting. Right. Yeah, it was a fascinating project. Fair yeah. Enough. So I applied I applied my, my first um, for the Essentials Masterclass. I actually yeah. did a project that I'd done a while ago. I did a retrospective mm-hmm. on one of the elements of my role as a research assistant was um, processing, which is take the re- take the report that's been created, polish it ever so slightly, then put it through the machine so that the customers then have access to a nice finished format. Mm-hmm. And somebody said, well, Tom, this process has been around for a while. What can we do to improve it? S- this was a few years ago. And this was one of the things that made me realize that maybe I ought to do this as a profession. So I looked at the elements of it. I realized that several bits of it weren't necessary, trimmed out the expensive parts of it, and gave my company the finished result, and they really liked it. Mm-hmm. So and so I you t- use this as your project? Yes. Yes, awesome. What were your insights from that? Um, that what I was doing was rudimentary and required some polishing, which the class really gave me. It was nice to have a label for that thing that I was already doing. Mm -hmm. because then it's like knowing your enemy basically now that I know what it is that I'm doing now I can have a label to an anchor around which new thoughts and experiences can form Mm -hmm. so next time when I go through this step which I recall being quite difficult last time I know that I can break it down into these bits and here are the here are the ways in which I can tackle that Mm -hmm. beautiful beautiful so like those insights of how to have that more structure next time yeah exactly so when you were still considering what what did you feel like was on the line for you um there's a bit of an opportunity cost for it because my job and my company is unfortunately very small and i don't have a very large pay packet so Mm -hmm. i figured that it was an important investment to be making in my life yeah so it took me i spent about a week weighing the pros and cons Mm -hmm. is am i really going to use this yes i probably am it's going to be useful in my general life anyway can i afford it now and i figured i may as well so i went with Mm -hmm. it and i was really glad that i did yeah awesome and now how is life like what's different i know you had some pretty amazing transformations happen yes so i was research assistant then became research analyst and now i'm a project manager for my company i have formally transitioned in a role away from the data entry and report creation team into my job is now fixing things so i've had this week off to focus more on the next step in the class the um business process analysis Mm -hmm. which incidentally was the first step in this new project that i'm taking on documenting the existing process Mm -hmm. and figuring out where we need to go from there where are the major time sinks where are the major money sinks that sort of thing with some background internal analytics for who is taking how long to do what what's that costing us etc and so just, and, I, I knew the one, but I didn't know there were two shifts. Can you just step me through the, the timeline? Oh, yeah. Because it's pretty quick, right? It was all in the space of a few months, and it's been quite a lot to get my head around because mm-hmm. the first shift was just before last peak season, so March, April time, during which time we took on a whole bunch of new training. Mm-hmm. Then learning more in depth from everybody else because I was going to move from governance analyst to remuneration analyst which I'll probably end up doing the training for anyway, because I've still got to learn about their step in the process. So Mm -hmm. I am drinking from a fire hose nearly every day, which is actually really enjoyable because I like learning. And one of the great things about being a business analyst is you are always learning Mm -hmm. rather than doing the same thing every day. Every day is a new challenge and that's really engaging. Yeah. Now we get so many questions about how these shifts happen for people. I know the coursework was part of it, but there were some other like actions you took that yes. made that happen about sharing in your company and 
it, Indeed. It, so it, there was emailing my there was emailing my manager, uh -huh. who emailed the CEO because it's a small company. There was a brief meeting to just go over in detail the sort of things that I could offer the company, which felt quite informal because things because changes have been happening so swiftly. I think I just you know edged in carefully while there was a, while there was an opening, which was really nice, but. I sat down with my manager a couple of days later and she and I both agreed that it would be best if I focused all my time and energy on the project rather than spending my mornings doing data and the afternoons actually tackling the problem because mm -hmm. it is important to really give your time and energy to a project if you want to get the best outcome. One right. of the things I've learned from psychology is that, you know, all the best decision making is done earlier in the day and the more decisions you have to make in a day the worse they progressively get so <laughs> yes yeah you could have almost flipped that around but it's great exactly. to just wipe the, <laughs> the other part yeah. out completely yeah. really nice so i have moved desks away from the data team nearer to management so they can come and nag me whenever they need to uh -huh. which happens a lot yeah. but it's also been an important personal shift so i am now no longer a researcher now I feel like I am a project manager slash business analyst mm -hmm. and that shift in mindset is actually really gratifying mm -hmm. it, I, I, I notice I feel more responsible for things and that's really really nice yeah yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. anything else you'd like to share about that um it's tough because so a sudden shift in responsibilities on top of learning quite a lot because I've also had to learn how to use uh, two other programs, Power mm -hmm. BI and Draw.io, the right. latter for process flowcharts, the former for a lot of analytics. And I feel, honestly, it's quite emotionally draining, but you do just mm -hmm. have to hit the ground running and take everything step by step. Mm -hmm. And any kind of personal growth is, yeah. Exactly. And, and, then, and so is any kind of struggle, right? Kind of staying yes. in that theme. So like the the win though, because it, it sounds like the, the data entry, you'd outgrown that significantly. was quite dull, yes. Yeah. And the opportunity to tackle new problems every day <laughs> and to make everything work smoother and nicer yeah. and have a lovely finished end product is also really gratifying. Yeah. Being able to say to the company, I designed you a new tool. I hope you <laughs> like it, you know. Yeah. And going through that process with them and engaging with people is also really is really nice because one of my favorite parts from doing my psychology undergraduate was interviewing people mm -hmm. and having focus group sessions. I was really good at those. Mm -hmm. And that element of business analysis is really quite nice. Getting to understand what people want and need, teasing the information out of them, clarifying it with them, the whole stakeholder engagement thing I am mm -hmm. completely down with. And it's really nice. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, just one final question, because we receive messages all the time from people. You mentioned like that week of like <laughs> thinking it through, right? Yes. Who are like on the fence in that similar way. And what would you what would you say to them? I would say you need to consider what you're going to do with it in future. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up a thing randomly because it seems like a good idea at the time. Mm -hmm. Really genuinely consider, am I going to use this in my life? And is that cost going to be paid back over the course of my career? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm 26, so I've got a lot of career ahead of me. And I know that a few grand spent now is a fraction of what I'm going to end up making, mm -hmm. particularly if I become, you know, a CBAP certified business analyst, if I make it into management consultancy. Mm -hmm. It is so worth it. And particularly the course in question is just so generally applicable. Mm -hmm. I honestly would recommend taking it on its own terms and it, you, you, you can use it in any business environment and any it's not just for business analysts either if ever you in your company need to change something the course is going to be useful for that because it's all about change management business mm -hmm. analysis is not its own separate magisterium right. it's something that everybody can use well, thank you so much. I'm so excited about the three month path that Indeed. you just and went, through, you went yes. through and that we could be a part of that at Bridging the Gap. And thank you for sharing your story. You're a superstar. Thanks, My Thomas. pleasure. <laughs> and thank you, Laura. All right.